Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix a file not found error in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about our problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. And number 1. Check the recycle bin. For this, double click on the recycle bin icon. After that, search for the file you are missing and if you find it, right click on it and just simply select the restore option. Number 2. Restore from backup. For this, type backup in the window search bar. After that, click on restore files with file history option. Then, browse through the available backup and select the file you need to restore. After that, just simply click the restore button to recover the file. Number 3. Search for the file manually. For this, click on the windows icon in the taskbar or press the windows key on your keyboard. After that, in the search bar, type the name of the file and review the search results to see if the file is located anywhere in your system. Number 4. Allow app folder access permission. For this, type windows security in the windows search bar. After that, open the tool and navigate to the section on threat and virus prevention. Then. Click on Manage Ransomware Protection under Ransomware Protection option. Next, from the Control Folder Access option, choose the option Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Then, just simply press the Add an Allowed App button and choose Browse All Apps. Number 5. Disable Control Folder Access. For this, navigate to Wires and Set Protection option. After that, click on Ransomware Protection and click on Manage Ransomware Protection after opening the Windows Security application. And after that, from there, turn off the toggle under Control Folder Access. Then press Yes when prompted for confirmation of user account control. Note, attempt to save, open or move your file now and see whether the error file not found still shows up. Number 6. Run a System File Checker For this, search for command prompt, right click the top result and select the Run as Administrator option. After that, type the following command to perform a quick fix on your PC. The command is sfc slash scan now. And be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. Number 7. Repair Install Programs For this, open the control panel by searching for it in the window search bar. After that, go to Programs and Feature. Then, find the program that causing the error, right click on it and just simply select Repair or change depending upon the situation. Then just simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Number 8. Scan for malware. For this, type Windows Security in the Windows search bar. After that, in the Windows Security window, just simply click on Virus and Threat Protection. Then under Current Threats option, click on Quick Scan to perform a basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose Full Scan. After that, just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the scan. Number 9. Update your windows. For this, press Window plus I to open Windows settings. After that, from there, click on Update and Security. Then, in the Update and Security window, click on Window Update in the left-hand side menu. Then, click on Check for Updates and let Windows search for any available updates and will automatically download them. Then, after the updates are installed, just simply restart the computer and check if the function is working correctly or not. Number 11. Perform System Restore. For this, type Create a Restore Point in the Windows Search bar. After that, click on System Restore under the System Protection tab. Then, it will automatically prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. Note, if you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will automatically display recommended date for restoration and then click Finish to complete the process. Note, the finishing time is few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 12. Verify the file path. Sometimes a file not found error might be a simple cause of a typo in the file path. For this, double click the file path to ensure that there are no typos, missing characters or incorrect folder names. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.